the worst thing happened. I had to put it surprising how calm I Today's video is going to be a vlog, literally a day in the life of a final year student writing my final exams. I decided to make a voiceover for some parts of the video because I was whispering so you could barely hear me. I have myself up to the last paper to give actually. I have to use students today and it's so crazy. I have to use students today and it's so crazy. Yesterday I was so crazy. It's just a little long very abstract class and it's just like what exactly is all in terms of the course but I just want to be done because I used to think that oh no the plan for the same day is so promising enjoy your uni days and so much and so much but at this point this exam time like here and I just want to be done with that I'm just going to last week I'm going to be five people to be five people last week So I have my notes on my laptop, so I'm just reading from that, and then I'll be finding my notes. But I already found my notes on it. This is a, this is the same thing. I'm not finding my notes now, so I'm just revising from the notes on my laptop. I'm also from the notes I have written down. I'm literally so tired. I didn't want to know that I have graduated from school already. How was like your final year for you? How stressful was it? Was it daunting? Or did you have like a lot of pressure? It's really because of last semester. Like to the things you want to achieve, or personally that I want to do. Um, crossing your teeth and dotting your eyes in regards to like relationships, friendships, academics also, your life, what else? All these things. Every time I talk, I'm planning to go to bed 
by 5 before I'm really so far now because I already slept in the evening I slept from my 8 30 to 11 so I'm pretty alert but I still just want to sleep for maybe like an hour before my exam so my plan is to revise everything but revise the four topics up to I think 7 or 6 from there hopefully by God's grace because we're answering 3 questions each question 20 marks so my plan is to revise my four topics and take a quick bath sleep for like an hour I don't know how I'm planning to do it. If I'm done by 5, 5, 5, 30, I'll take my bath, sleep till like 6, 7. Does it still make sense to sleep? I don't know, but I will stop here for now. The like, most I see is right when I'm running, running to make the exam out. I'm just hoping that this exam goes well. I'm feeling it all the way. I prayed already. And I was really, really tense yesterday. And I turned out because I was stressed. I just needed to get things out. Planning to plan the day. I really like this planner by the way because it has verses for each day, which is so calming. And the verse for today is amazing. Surprisingly, coincidentally, each day I journal or plan my day. The verse for today always matches my mood. The verse is 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11. But it says, Depend on the Lord and His strength. Always go to Him for help. Like you knew that I needed help. My only priority for this word is giving the night as well. I'm so sleepy. I'm chilling on God's brain. Do you want me to sleep on God's brain? Who should not put on the bed? No. Yes. Wow. Who should not put on the bed? I'm just. I'm so tired. Can we also have a tour? Yeah, my final paper. I'm not hungry. Me too. I'm sorry, I forgive you. I'm sorry, I forgive you. I'm sorry, I forgive you. Because it's so stressful to I do. And it's just the exam I have. I think about you lately. All I seem to do this. Has got me crazy. Yeah, you got me stressing a little. <laughs> why is Mimi running? Can you see why like, some of my classmates, everybody's just outside reading, other people are inside reading also. Like, nobody is taking their chances. Welcome back to the aftermath of my exam. So my paper went well, went really good. Cause you know we were gambling. First of all, where do I even start from? You know I read just four topics. Thank Jesus, three out of my topics came out, and what, literally number one, two, three. And I was just like, God, I see what you like. I'm a culture people, I literally wrote God because. One of the questions, it has never come out in past question before. And I remember when I read it, yeah, I just felt, I mean, that's why I read the first topic that last month, if this one doesn't come out, this other one will come out. But that one came out and it was my number two question. I was just really, really excited because I read it, I revised it because I really wanted it to come out. I got favor then. The worst thing happened. I feel like it's that fair point. Like, I've never seen. <laughs> I feel like this was so horrible because I'm not having jurisprudence out from nowhere. I wasn't pushing for like the whole. I, my tongue wasn't paining me. It just happened. I, I was able to just sort of everything out, get into the exam hall before the exam started, which gave me enough time to also prepare and revise. And then after the exam, I mean, with my friend, I, we were just talking about how the exam went. And it goes, the man even made one question on the board to me. And I'm like, like, I was like, what? Which question did you make compulsory? Because I was like, I didn't see. You know when you just feel regrets to like, Jesus Christ? Because I was just like, God, how? I asked that question one, two, three. How did I see it at any point while I was answering? I mean, like it would have made a no difference if I had seen it. Because I mean, I already knew the question. Those are the questions I already can't answer. But like afterwards, I was just really grateful to God because just imagine I didn't know my mom and I can't answer like two, three, five. Or something like that. What would have happened? I'm sure we'd be happy. But my exam was good. It was really, 
I know you guys don't look shaky. So I have my last for tomorrow. I'm wearing my night room because I'm literally about to sleep. This is my last sleep this morning. Okay. At least we got the night. So I'm just about to sleep. I'll rest and I'll have lunch after I'll start for my day. I'm being I'm just wanted to say hi. Oh, my. Come and say hi. 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 <laughs> so, Omo is in 100 level iron dish just for some support in my Christmas. Mm -hmm. You're not one fan. I love me to sleep in. When I was filming this morning, we were complaining that how did you make a video without us? I was like, okay, one by one. I'll be featuring. I'm to say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. When I wake up, I'm really, I'm eating lunch. Show you guys what I'm having. We're having like. It's Biden this afternoon, so Biden on Friday. Biden is like the father of Green Stew. Hi, Meg. Hi, Kim. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Catherine, how are you? Okay, we're on our way to Calf. Let's go and get food. <laughs> I sent my food to the hall with my friend and then I decided to go to the faculty building to see some of my lecturers because I needed to discuss some things with them since I returned back from home and then I decided to give you guys a toy because it had been renovated. I hope you guys like the faculty building. This is my project about my school office but <laughs> she's not around. And then these are some other lectures. Okay. So then this is the Hall of Fame, which has all the students that have like first class in school in Babcock that I've graduated with a first class from our department. Yep, yep, yep. So that is I have first class from this law school and here. Yeah. guys lunch is served moi moi afternoon monday lunch literally timetable never changes it has never changed since i was in school so this is what garden rice looks like yeah garden is like green stew or father sauce and then i got caprosone to pair with my food afterwards we start reading immediately i had already recorded a couple of things i had to say only for me to realize that it's not recorded <laughs> I already started eating. I think I'm almost halfway. And then as I'm eating, I'm reading. I have two books for every month. That's my reading goal. This and another book. This is my other book for the month of January. This was a gift. I bought this one myself. I have a Happy Tracker. This is the Happy Tracker I'm using. I tore it out from one of my old journals because I didn't use it. So it's coming in handy. I actually haven't filled it in here, so I'll do that now. Tommy Cab is such an interesting, amazing book. You should buy it and read it. <laughs> and literally, the reason why I have just like 10 pages a day because you know how you should be 15 pages and I might not have the time to read that, that stretch. So it's just to cultivate the reading habit. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is just a video of me and my last paper. Really excited to be finally done. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Catch up on my old videos and I'll see you in my next video.